Love is everything. All right, Masha. We're ready for you now. This is like a nightmare. I'm modeling this bridal gown for the girl who is going to marry the man I love. Day by day, I mutely watched another woman take away what I always wanted most. I stayed silently on the sidelines while Estelle Manners, haughty, cold, unscrupulous, captured the man I loved. I thought I had lost Greg Duncan forever until I found he too believed that love is everything. I suppose many girls envied my job. I modeled exclusive dresses in a chic salon which catered to the 400. During my working hours, I was surrounded with luxury and carried a dream in my heart. All right, Marsha dear, that will be all now. You may go home now. Thank you, Mrs. Duncan. But svelte luxury and the dream too would vanish at the end of each day. Losing that precious dream hurt most. I understand your son Gregory is getting married, Mrs. Duncan. Yes, very soon. He's engaged to Estelle Manners. She's such an aristocratic girl. Her family was once wealthy. They've lost it all now. But the Manners name still carries prestige. Greg, of course, doesn't need money. He's a successful commercial artist. They won't let me forget he's getting married. By contrast to the surroundings which I worked, I lived in commonplace sordidness. But this was reality, this furnished room, and the knowledge that Estelle Manners would soon wed Greg. Come on, Marcia, snap out of it. Greg's not for you. You've scarcely ever spoken to him. Stop being a fool. You only think you love him. How can you love a man who doesn't even know you're alive? But I do love him. I do. I do. I don't care what else there is in life. Love is everything. But once again, I found myself facing reality. I had a date with Johnny Brooks, sweet, reliable Johnny, who was in love with me, but for whom I could never feel more than friendship. Come on, sweetheart. It's Johnny. All right. Wait for me downstairs, Johnny. I won't be long. Soon I was ready and... Right this way, princess. Step into your coach and four. Oh, Johnny, please stop. I'm... I'm not in the joking mood. I'm not joking either, Marsha. Maybe I'm not much of a Prince Charming, but I love you. My life would be complete if you said yes when I asked you to marry me. Please, Johnny, let's not go into that again. I have to go into it. I'm leaving for South America, Marsha. It's my big chance. I must know if you'll be on my team. I don't have to tell you how much that means to me. It... it wouldn't be fair, Johnny. I... I don't love you. Okay, baby, I asked for it. No complaints. You always played square with me. Can't blame a guy for trying. It's too bad, Marsha, but dreams never seem to work out, do they? That's the trouble with dreams, Johnny. They're too beautiful. Later, I watched Johnny's car disappear down the block. Soon he'd be gone. Out of my life. I had rejected him, but I had no regrets. Goodbye, Johnny. I'm sorry I smashed your dream. I know how you feel. I am in the same boat. But the next morning brought a blow that almost crushed me. Masha, you know that my son Gregory is going to marry Estelle Manners. Certainly, Miss Duncan. They'll be here soon, and since you're my best model, I want you to display the trousseau I'm giving Estelle as a wedding gift. You'll find everything in your dressing room. Y yes Mrs. Duncan, I'll... I'll get ready at once. How can I go through with this? I can't do it with Greg there, watching me. Not ready yet, Marsha? Estelle and Greg are here. We're waiting for you. Is anything wrong? No, Mrs. Duncan. Then get on with your work. Then my ordeal began. I called on every bit of my professional training and managed to compose myself, but my heart was heavy as I modeled those exquisite garments. This negligee is an exclusive design. Do you like it? Very lovely, Mother, but a lot of credit must go to Mrs. Carson. She'd make anything look beautiful. Greg, get me a glass of water, please. As I made my change, I felt like singing. Greg had noticed me. He had noticed me. He thought I was beautiful. You'll love this one, Estelle. Step over here. You can see better. Yes, it is quite nice. Clumsy. See what you've done? I'm soaked. I, I couldn't help it. You bumped me. I never heard such insolence. I won't take back talk from you. Take it easy, Estelle. There's no harm done. Why get yourself upset? She purposely jostled me. I won't stay here another minute unless that girl leaves. As you wish, Estelle. Marsha, please leave the floor. Rita will model the rest of the garments. But, Mrs. Duncan, I didn't. Marsha, enough. Leave the floor. Rita will model the rest of the garments. 
But mother, it was obviously an accident. I don't see why. Keep out of this, Greg. Your mother knows what she's doing. Somehow, I managed to keep control of myself until I reached the dressing room. But once out of the salon, I let the tears stream down my cheeks, unchecked. It isn't fair. Why should she treat me this way? It was her fault. Oh, I feel like a fool. Suddenly, there was a gentle hand on my shoulder. Startled, I turned quickly, the tears blurring my eyes. Greg! I've come to apologize for Estelle's behavior. Please forgive her. She's under a strain. Wedding preparations are always hectic. Come now, no more tears. Miss Carson, you're very beautiful. I wonder if you'd do a favor for me. What? I'm looking for a model for a magazine cover. Will you pose for me? You'd be just right. Ah, uh, oh, I, I hardly know what to say. I'd be delighted. Come to this address. It's my studio. If you can, I'd like to start working this evening. Oh, yes, bring a bathing suit. I'll be there about seven. Suddenly, it was as if the sun had burst through the clouds. Perhaps Greg was lost to me, but at least he wanted me to pose for him. That was something. And there are times when even crumbs are better than nothing. Night after night, for a week, I posed in Greg's studio. I might have been made of marble for all he cared. He drove himself ceaselessly, paying no attention to me. I was just a prop as far as he was concerned. May I rest now? Please. Not yet. I must finish tonight. I'll tell you when to rest. I held that pose as long as I could. Then I felt myself caught up in a dizzy whirlpool. My limbs grew heavy my, and my body sagged. I, I tried to cry out, Greg. And then I plunged into a velvet pool of blackness, only vaguely aware that I had fallen to the floor. As from a distance, I heard Greg's voice. Marsha, I didn't realize, Marsha. Are you all right, Marsha? I should be whipped for what I've done to you. I was so busy painting that I didn't realize. It's nothing. I I didn't have any dinner and... And... You're very beautiful, Marsha. Very beautiful. Oh, Greg. My eager lips sought his and found them. I responded to his embrace with all my ardor. <laughs> but the moment of illusion was shattered when... Well, isn't this a touching scene? So that's the important work which has kept you so terribly busy, Greg. Estelle, you, you don't understand. You think I'm an idiot? I understand everything. This cheap little clothes horse has finally succeeded. I saw the trick she tried the other day. No, you're wrong, Miss Manners. You can have your precious Greg. I don't want him. I never wanted him. This whole business was his mother's idea. She sought the prestige of my name. Frankly, I could use his money. Fortunately, I found bigger game. You mean you, you don't love Greg? Love? Ha, don't make me laugh. I want what's best for number one. Here, take your ring, Greg, and good riddance, I say. Have it your way, Estelle. There was no happiness between us. Then she was gone, and silence hung like a veil in the studio. I'll, I'll get dressed and leave, Greg. There's nothing more to say, I suppose. I, I can't understand a woman like that. To me, love is everything. I knew you'd feel that way, Marsha. I love you, Marsha. I have ever since I first saw you. Estelle never was for me. I would have gone through with it just to please Mother. Now I know it would never work out. Oh, Greg, you're what I've wanted for so long. I love you, Greg. Please, darling, kiss me. As he took me in his arms and kissed me, I knew I had been right to carry a dream in my heart and never to have wavered in my belief that love is everything.